In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries and ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, our hope, and love, and make us grow in love as you command, so that we may merit what you promise. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope, for who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, the Lord has done marvels for us. Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again, Jesus said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. I often preached at weddings that the love the couple brings to the altar on the day they're married is just a little fraction, a little glimpse of what their love is meant to be, and that through years of marriage, it is supposed to grow. And so a few years ago, I asked a friend who had been married about 40 years, I said, Dan, is it true that your love for your wife and your wife's love for you is more than it was 40 years ago when you were married. And he said, without a thought, he said, absolutely. He said, we love each other so much more. And so this is an image of today's gospel. The kingdom of heaven is like a seed. That seed doesn't grow instantly into a bush, but it sometimes takes years for that bush to come to its full full realization. And so too with our relationship with God, yearning and growing and becoming the kingdom of God is not something that just happens at baptism or happens at first communions, but through years of dedication and striving. That's why the St. Ignatius examine is so important, because it helps us look at our lives. Are we growing? Are we moving towards the kingdom of God? Are we growing in love of God and neighbor? Are our lives bigger than ourselves? And if they are not, then we know we need to prune our lives in order that God's kingdom may be ever more a part of our lives. On the YouTube, there's a beautiful talk by Father Chad Riffinger on the rule of life, how we Christians, and particularly as Catholics, how we can develop being the kingdom of God by laying out in our daily lives a routine of prayer and discipline that helps us become what God desires us to be, and that is his beloved children, fully alive, as I said on Sunday, fully aflame with God's love for me and our love for one another. The kingdom of God, hard to see, hard to comprehend, and yet when we say yes to God each and every day, growing in that love of God, The kingdom of God continues to grow and bear fruit for us and for those with whom we love and live. So let us rise in confidence, we pray, for all the needs we bring to this Eucharist. For the church. May the Lord continue to bless and protect her for all time. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in governments throughout the world, may God continue to convert their hearts to the beauty of peace and justice for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those carrying crosses in their daily lives, May Christ make his presence known to them with hope and peace. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may we continue to grow in faith, hope, and love in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died marked as Christ's own forever, may they soon enter the heavenly banquet and be at peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the deceased, Scott Drummond, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you sent your Son, Jesus, to announce the kingdom of God. May that kingdom flourish in our minds and hearts with love of you and others. We ask this in all our prayers through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, look on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost. And so, Lord, with angels and saints, we give you praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together at Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased us, pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, Lord God, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks. Novena to St. Anthony, O glorious St. Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted and distressed, who by a miraculous revelation has directed all those who seek aid to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays and there piously invokes thee will fill the power of thy intercession. I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to thee, O powerful saint, and with a firm hope I implore thy aid, thy protection, thy counsel, and thy blessing. Obtain for me, I beseech thee, my request in this But if it should be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be conducive to my salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony. Let us pray, almighty and eternal God, who does glorify thy faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession. To the infant Jesus in the arms of St. Anthony, O oh, Jesus, my Savior, 
who does vow safe to appear to St. Anthony in the form of an infant, I implore thee through the love thou didst bear to this saint when he dwelt on earth and which thou now bearest to him in heaven. Graciously hear my prayer and assist me in my necessities. St. Anthony, our patron and our advocate. St. Anthony, powerful in word and work. St. Anthony, attentive to those who invoke thee. St. Anthony, glory of the church and honor of the Franciscan order. St. Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, whose relic I hold, may you be blessed today and always in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit.